Sure. Begin. Is he gonna do it by now? It's like all awkward. Like, oh god, what do we say? Uh, yeah, so it's recording. So our essential question is: What is the relationship between IMA and MA? Does anyone know what IMA stands for? International Monetary Media. Association. Yes, that's what I was about to say. Media. I mean, and, well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Anyone know what uh, MA stands for? Mall. Mall. Mass <laughs> times acceleration. Mall. 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 A mechanical advantage. Yeah, you guys are so smart. So we're going to talk about the relationship between work, mechanical advantage, efficiency, and IMA, which is ideal mechanical advantage. And how all these relate to each other. Now, when we talk about machines, and we've talked about efficiency in what respect already? In power, or in the jewels thing. In the, in the, 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 the that, that lab. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the kinetic energy, potential energy lab, right? Yeah. Where you uh, use the potential energy yeah. initial and final to figure out how efficient your machine was. Um, and ultimately, we want you want efficient machines, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want a machine that wastes a lot of energy. And most of that energy waste is due to what? Friction. Yeah. So, being able to measure how efficient a machine is, so you can compare it to other machines to figure out what's better, is what this is all about. So, when we're talking about some machines, basically all of them, and I'm sure you've learned about some machines in what, sixth grade, seventh grade? When do you learn about some machines? Never. Never? 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 Yeah, like, you know, you're filling your lever, your wedge, screw. That was like pulley? sixth grade. Sixth grade, yeah. yeah. Pulley, yeah. So, you guys have been exposed, and not in a bad way. Yeah. 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 Some machines. Um, Doing like streaking. Ah, oh, that's gonna be edited. <laughs> um, all of them are gonna be levers or incline planes or a combination of the two. Okay, pretty much every single machine can boil down to one of the two, or a combination of the two. Okay, when you get more complex machines, obviously you have more simple machines that make up that complex machine. So thousands of years ago, basically, humans learned that it sucks doing everything with their hands and fingers, right? So we started coming up with tools and utensils to make, at that time, their life easier. Um, this is one... This is a great difference between humans and the great apes versus everything else. For the most part, there's some exceptions, but the ability to create and use tools. Um, and all of these tools do is they manipulate the cons law of conservation of energy. What was our conservation of energy law? You can't, you can't, it can't be destroyed. That's right. You can only transform, right, from one form to another. Transform. Like nothing like Transformers. <laughs> so in our context, we know that the energy that goes in the machine, right? Whether it's the energy you put in the machine, say like a shovel, is going to equal the energy that comes out. Okay. Now the form that it comes out is what we are looking at. Go. So energy can't be just destroyed or created. You can't such so the same energy has been here on Earth since four billion years ago is still the same today. Um well Sorry. the problem with that is that we're always getting energy influx from the sun, right? So you can't just 
isolate the Earth as far as energy, because we still get energy from outer space. So I guess technically you could say that in the universe, the same energy that we've had, how old is the universe? Oh, yeah. Who knows? 14 billion. No one knows. Yeah, I think it's somewhere around 14.6 or something. Billion years old. So the energy we started off with, the Big Bang, is the same energy we have now. It's That's just, my megaphone. The Big Bang TV. There you go. <laughs> useful, it's useful to watch TV. Everyone should start watching more TV. That's what he's telling. Yes! Yeah, watch it. I think that has nothing to do with the show. I'm making that Um. So, our equation which relates more back to what we know, because when we talk about energy in and energy out, that's, that's pretty broad and vague. We reduce it down to work in equals work out. And if we want to break that down further, what is our equation for work? Uh, FD. FD, right? We're at a force times distance. So we have Fend in, fout doubt. <laughs> <laughs> the force in times distance in equals the force out times the distance out. <laughs> Fend in, fout doubt. As it's all kinds of acronyms like this in this unit. So there's a bunch of funny That's things. That's going to be the only reason why I remember. I know, for real. Fend in, fout doubt. <laughs> So these are our first two yeah. equations. Oh! <laughs> Where are we going to plug these in later on? Or page one, right? <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, let's talk about how machines actually work. And more importantly, what they do to work. So, a common misconception is that machines. Reduce the amount of work. They don't. They don't reduce the amount of work. The same amount of work is done whether you're using a spoon to dig a hole or with a shovel. Okay? You dig the same size hole, the same amount of work is done. It's just It's just easier with a shovel. That's exactly right. So if we look at it as in our formula, okay, which we know our formula for work, you guys reminded me, is force times distance, then what these machines actually do is just change either the force or the distance And that will, in turn, change, hopefully, how easy it is to do that work. Because ultimately, you know, humans are pretty lazy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We want to get something done as easily and fast as possible. Okay? And we actually, most of the time, we would rather take ease over speed. No. We'd rather it be easier and take longer than really hard and take shorter. For the most part. So if we look at this animation, okay, we have these three green cards. Um, each of them are going up an inclined plane. So, let's first look at the force, okay? So 
So remember, it's displacement, same as distance, right? So it's force times distance equals work. So the force is how much force it takes. And remember that we're not looking at the full length of the ramp here. We're just looking to the top of the platform, okay? Because all these ramps, the, the amount poking up is different, right? So we're just looking for this height, okay? The actual height of the, of the platform with the back wheel when it gets up there. So, of course, as the ramp increases in steepness, what happens to the force? It takes more force, right? Because you're fighting gravity more, right? Because it's steeper incline. What type of relationship is that between if the... Directly proportional, right? One goes up, the other one goes up, that's directly proportional. Yeah. Okay, so as we get steeper, our force increases. What happens to our displacement, though? Yeah, the cart has to travel further at the at the um, shallower angle, right? So it's going to take longer doing this, right? It's not going to take as much force, but it's going to take a longer distance. Now look at the work. It's the same for each one. It's the same for each one. Because, remember, you're going to the same height. Okay? You're going to the same height. So, it's another analogy would be if you're moving a refrigerator. Right? You're moving it into the back of a van. Mm -hmm. Say that van is three feet high. Right? Do you want to pick the refrigerator straight up mm -hmm. and into the back? Or do you want a nice, long, easy ramp that you can just put on a dolly and walk it up from in the back? Yeah, ramp. Yeah, ramp. It's a thought of BTS. <laughs> also, it's good prevention from getting injured. Um, so, as the force goes up, what happens to our distance? I guess if I click on the actual animation. So you have a little force and a great distance. Middle, we have relatively, right? Middle force, middle distance, and then high force and a little distance. Um, tomorrow we will talk about this example of work being done. Bad news.